again, my family. It's me again. It's another one. Another walk through. <laughs> this time we're in Barbican. We're in Barbican. And we're looking at 48 panels and 40 batteries. It's a big one. This is like this is this home is like split up in three different sections. This home is it's three different sections that you can rent and so. So it's like three big apartments in one. One very big big home and then apartments in um in one. So let's get to the nitty gritty now. They're running about six AC. Probably in the background you'll hear one of them running. There's another one running over there. They don't really turn off the ACs in this place. At least two of them. And then the others will turn on whenever they feel like. There are kind of multiple families living here. So there's many refrigerators, you know, washer, dryer, all that stuff. And they wanted more, they wanted ample power. So I say, want ample power again to give it ample power. So they got this. So this is 48 panels. As you can see, they have more space. It looks like they could have hold another. Another 32 panels easily in this place. So, you know, and this is another place that I actually, you know, I beg a little plug in for, for our EV. So, you know, because it's a very sunny day, so they, you know, get a little plug in for the EV. This is just what it is. It's nice. <laughs> All right, family, so we're here. We're on the roof, so let me just show you how we install. This place is mostly a zinc roof. So, a zinc roof is an easy one, you don't have to buy any blocks or anything, it's some zinc screw. So basically, on zinc roof, we screw in, very important for those out there who are interested in becoming a solar installer. Take a look, when you're installing a zinc roof, you must screw down in the upper ridge of the zinc. Never screw down in the lower ridge of the zinc. The upper ridge, right? And that's what we do here. All of these are on the upper ridge of the zinc. That's where we set our legs. On the upper ridge of the zinc, we use zinc screws that actually increase the strength of the homeowner's roofs because they have additional screws in their roof that the roofer already put screws and we put extra screws. So you're looking at a stronger roof. We use nuts and bolts, as you can see here. And we use you know, there's two reasons for this. Um, one is cost. All right, so number two is, well, I've, people don't steal these things. The truth is that I've never heard of it. Somebody at the solar panel, it's just usually too much work. But we use nut and bolt to make the work even harder if somebody did come up with that little idea. But here, yeah, you, you, in here, you're going to have to come underneath here, coming like you're underneath a car in a garage you will have it rough and one thing we know about teeth is that they're not very hard working so they're not going to do all the work we come and eat us and screw up the little one one we have thousands of bolts that you would have got screw up to successfully take off them panel here number three when we nut and bolt up this yeah it's not moving so hurricane or no hurricane whatever Everything is just harder to move them. So that's how we do it. I'm not knocking any other technique, but I, I think um, this is a good standard. But if anybody wanna follow it, I think it's smart to follow it and you will have happier customers and everything like that, you know? So my friends, don't, don't doubt that you can have solar here and worry about how your roof stay. That is for the installer to worry about. That's not your problem. Let the installer figure it out. Look at even this little thing we do right here. We have the zinc roof, but we want the panel, the homeowner want the panel to look uniform. So we say, all right, no problem. We put some long legs down to the concrete roof and some black, because we're not drilling on your concrete roof. You see this nicely prepared surface. We're not going to bother with deal, mash it up. Put a black, two black, put two legs, secure it with a diagonal brace, and there you have it. You don't have to worry about the little details. All you do, you just trust that we are professionals. Now, that's not to say that you mustn't check the work. If you feel when the job is done, you should really walk around, be, be a part of your system, 
come up on your roof and look and see what the installer did. And if you see anything with your common sense, we might want to be addressed. You must. Because you know everybody is human being, everybody make mistakes. So, um, but you don't have to be there and you know, you can just, when, they, when them say the job done, you say, okay, the job done, all right, I'm going to come look. And you come and look and be a part of your, your process. You know, enjoy, look for you. Your, 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 your glorious panels, they're going to know you are, my friend. You put in your panels, you are now an energy producer, not just a consumer. You have produced energy, right? Which is, is, um, it is a requirement for independence that you produce. A consumer is a very dependent person. You use energy, invest in producing energy. All right, my friends. So now that you have seen the roof and seen the glorious solar panels up here, show you one and two little things. Um, let's go down into the power room. This, this room is kind of split. It's kind of a split power room. So I will show you how the, what this was done. The homeowner wanted this done like this. and it, So this is how we did it. A, a matter of fact, there's an inverter and charge controller room, air conditioned, and there's a battery room separate that is vented by a, a vent fan. Follow me. Good day, family. Welcome to my home. Oh, oh sorry, I'm in my battery room. Uh, so, our room was built. A mason came here and built the room. You know, the, the homeowner wanted a neat spot for the batteries. The batteries nicely tucked away. Um, I'm going to point out again the terminals. You can take a look at them and see that there is no corrosion or anything like that. So now you've seen it. The 40 batteries nicely tucked away in this little closet space and that was purpose built for it. Now it's time to go see the inverter room. Follow me. So here we are now. I did mention that in this, for this setup, we have 48 panels. Now, this unit can manage up to 24 panels. So we added this unit, it's a big red, to do another 24 panels. This can actually take 30 panels. If, if we want to put another six. But this room now is air conditioned. There's an AC up here. And it's kept closed, so this is just a nice little space for the inverter and the charge controller to run cool. It's closed, so one of the things that will make you lose your inverter, well, the thing that I've ever, that, that, the only thing that I've ever seen to make you lose your inverter is pests, animals. Whether animal here, cats, dogs, whatever, whether it's ants, duck ants, Spider web, rat near me wire them going to your thing of build nest and all kind of thing in your inverter and your charge controller. So you want to protect it. It's our advice to our homeowners to invest in protecting the expensive inverter and the charge controller and so forth. So I just spread your ants powder, spread your rat poison and so forth. Pest control, very important. This that's how you lose these these you will lose your, your inverter. Other than that, it will just run for you, it will probably outlive you. So yes, I did say that the inverter will probably outlive you. As long as you maintain it in a nice environment for it to survive. So, no pests. This right here is a 10 kilowatt inverter. In this house, uh, it's a, one, a lot of ACs, or six ACs. Um, they're running washer and dryer. Although, I they are not recommended to run all six AC plus the dryer at the same time. But the homeowner was advised of this that they don't run the dryer unless they turn off some of the ACs. Because the 10 kilowatt, you know, some of these dryers, I think this dryer is a, is a big one. So it, it, it really draws a lot of, a lot of amperage. So, you know, they, they follow, they follow the, the instructions and, so, and it's, it's working out really well for them. 
this system has been here for about over a year now. Over a year now. As I said, this is one of the earlier systems. You can imagine the light bill was, was a bit much. So this is this is very close to on its way to paying back itself. Uh, it's probably almost gone two years, you know. Time time flies. So you make back that money before you even know it. Again, I would like to stress to folks if it is better to pay a fixed rate loan repayment and just get a proper system for your house than to have to worry about where the JPS bill, you know, where your light bill is going to be landing next month. You don't know if it's going to be this or that or it's just up and down and it's, well, we all know it's usually up. You know, it's just, it's just a lot of people out there. Every time you turn on something, you, you start to think. A lot of homeowners, I know, start to think, ah, I wonder how the light bill will be affected when we start turning on this. You know, when you run your system, your solar system, you don't have to worry about that. The only thing really and truly I tell people to watch is the voltage. You know, we actually install, obviously we install a car charger and I, I beg them a charge. I install a car charger here because they have future plans to get an EV. And they, you know, they do have proper amount of energy available. They, they, have, they have an abundance of energy here. So I do, I did advise them to get an EV one day. So they, they, those plans are probably in, in the, will come to fruition real soon. The only thing that I, I tell people to do is to, to watch your voltage. Watch your battery voltage. Usually you would only do that when it rain, when rain falls and so. Once the sun is shining, you don't even be doing it. All right, family. So there you have it. Another walkthrough, we got through it. It's a big one. And um, yeah, until next time, take care.